trophy up for grabs in the 2012-2013 French season. Evian Tonar Gaillard get the 2013 Coupe de France final underway. They're kicking from right to left in what is quite simply the biggest game in the club's short history. And they're up against uh, a Bordeaux team who begin tonight as uh, the clear favourites, but uh, who are looking to win this competition for the first time since 1987. Bordeaux finished the French season 15 points better off than Evian Tonagaya. They were seventh. Evian finishing down in 16th, just two points above the relegations. Nervy fin for the club from uh, the Haute Savoyard region of uh, France, just near the Swiss border. A beautiful, a picturesque region. A region not renowned for uh, football, not until uh, the last couple of seasons with uh, Evian Tonangayard competing in France's top flight. They're going to have to do some defending now as Sheikh Diapate looks to uh, get moving for the first time. The leggy Malian international crossing and uh, giving Bertrand Lacke an opportunity to warm his gloves. Lacke hitting it long immediately towards Yannick Sagbo. Sagbo down. By, uh, on. Bordeaux have uh, turned in some dire performances this season in the league. They've been uh, criticised not just by the press but by their fans as well. Even the coach Francis Gillo in a couple of uh, post-match press conferences has said uh, he uh, doesn't uh, quite know what his team uh, are playing at at times. But uh, they've been inconsistent. They do have quality. And uh, player for player, they probably have uh, more talent than Evian Ton on Guyane when you consider the likes of Obraniak and Plasil in midfield. Diabate and uh, Seve up front. Lacke clearing towards uh, Mohamed Rabiou. Rabiou, the uh, number two in midfield for Evian Tonon. Can impress wealthier French teams. Betau with the header. Braniak uh, competing with uh, Ninkovic. A strong challenge coming in from the Brazilian Betau. He's fouled Sheikh Diabate. It's going to be a very, very important contest, that one. Betau, the leader of Evian Tonon Gaillard's defence. He's had a strong season, but uh, he's going to have to be very strong to resist Diabate. So the first dangerous set-piece of the night, Ludovic Kobraniak with a very good ball in and it's Lacke who gets down to his left and pushes the ball behind. Superb delivery from uh, Ludovic Kobraniak and uh, Diabate showing just what a handful he is. Getting up well, powering the header goalwards. Good stop. Kobraniak again. Evian standing firm and uh, perhaps now coming forward on the counter. And the free kick this time goes the way of Pascal Dupras, Evian Tonon Gaillard. A club named uh, after a variety of things, really. They are actually named after the mineral water Evian and not after the town Evian Les Bains. It's a long story essentially the key factor to uh, Evian Tonon Gaillard's rise is uh, the fact that they are owned by the Danon group who uh, are a massive company and own Evian, the mineral water among uh, other products Daniel Vass with the chip forward headed down by Enrique and uh, away come Bordeaux and through the middle Diabate Great chance for the Girondins. Well, the chance has gone. Diabate dawdled a little bit in possession. And it was uh, a very, very good covering challenge from Brice Jajajic. 
Jojoji is quick and uh, he showed his pace and his tenacity there to deny Diabate, but uh, the Bordeaux striker could and should have done better. Daniel Vass now, the Danish right back who's having to play left back these days for Evian Ton on Gaillard with uh, Priest JJ making the right back position his own. Bordeaux fans getting uh, their songs going. Bordeaux were uh, competing in a Champions League quarter final not so long ago. French champions, of course, under Laurent Blanc in 2008-9, and then uh, Champions League quarter finalists the following season. Frustratingly for them, they lost to uh, another French team, Lyon. But uh, Laurent Blanc left at the end of that season. Uh, his replacement Jean Tigner had a very difficult uh, year Francis Gillo has done uh, very well since he uh, was appointed two years ago Bordeaux finished fifth last year seventh this year and now a chance to win silverware but uh, Evian on the attack as Sagbo threads a pass through that Mariano deals well with Good play from the Brazilian right back. Plasil. Plasil coming inside. Bad foul by uh, Olivier Sola. The uh, veteran uh, midfielder and the captain of Evian Tonon Gaillard could uh, quite easily be booked here by Freddy Fultrell. But he gets away with it. I wonder if uh, Plasil agrees with uh, that decision. It wasn't malicious, but it was late. Another free kick and... Uh, we saw just how dangerous the deliveries can be from uh, Obraniak on the right-hand side. Plasil is uh, another very good free-kick taker. That is Gregory Sertic, so uh, Bordeaux have options on the set plays. It's going to be Sertic. Diabate, the main threat. Watch out for Enrique as well, who's uh, scored a winning goal in the cup final already for Bordeaux. He'll be it in the League Cup final six years ago. Sertic takes. Well defended that time by Evian. Tremblinas will be uh, joining up with the French national team after this game as they uh, head to South America for a couple of friendly matches. Tremblinas rewarded for a very solid season. Good left back who uh, loves to maraud forward. I'm sure Pascal Dupra would have uh, considered the threat of uh, Tremblinas and Maurice Belli on the left-hand side for Bordeaux as he prepared his uh, Evian side for tonight's game. Oh, Khalifa can't keep that ball in. We've uh, barely seen a touch from the Tunisian so far. But I can tell you, uh, if you haven't had the privilege of seeing his uh, second goal against Nice a couple of weeks ago, it was absolute stunner. He scored from uh, well within his own half. 
was about 60 metres out, lobbed the goalkeeper. In the following week, he scored a, another very special goal, albeit only from about 30, 35 metres out. He's in great form. There we go. There we go, tackled by Sertic. Now Tremolinas with uh, a little bit of space to run into. He finds his uh, partner in crime on the left-hand side, Morris Belle. Morris Belle charging up the left. Good tackle, though. JJ has uh, made a very sharp start to this match. ball from uh, Obraniak. Obraniak now coming back to Sertic who tries his luck from long range. It uh, was very well struck. Not uh, a prolific goal scorer by any means Gregory Sertic but uh, he was confident enough to take that one on. Bele. Now on Receve, cutting it back cleverly. Diabate lets it go. It's uh, another presentable chance. And uh, again, Gregory Sertic, the player, missing the target, this time from uh, closer in. Receve was perhaps just off, but the uh, flank stayed down. Okay, punting forward, the header from Enrique. Cedric Combo nodding down to Vass. Mariano. Bordeaux do have a, a couple of excellent attacking fullbacks. Mariano and uh, Tremolinas have played as wing backs at time. At time, sorry for uh, for Bordeaux. Lamin Sane. The pattern of the game is uh, set with Evian Tonangaya defending. And uh, looking to counter attack. That was a poor pass out of defence. Fast forward. Enrique's head up. Only as far as Ninkovic. The Serb finds uh, Sagbo. Sagbo's touch is poor, and away come Bordeaux. Obraniak, Mariano, Obraniak, bit of space here. Obraniak's pass is uh, behind Diabate. Zagbo, good strength from Yannick Zagbo. The Ivorian finds Kleefer. Kleefer's cross, cut out by Sanic. Nobody uh, following up for Evian Tonongaya. Morris Belly being urged forward by the Bordeaux fans. Tremolinas. It's a good cross from him. A little bit too high, but again, the threat is there from Diabate. Well, he's got a few centimetres on the bet out. And if they do uh, provide the right sort of service, you feel that that man, Sheikh Diabate, is uh, going to do some damage tonight. Kleefer's header, Sagbo. Daniel Vass. Nicely played by the Dane, but uh, the pass is only as far as Mariano. Mariano's ball, searching one. There's always an outlet for Bordeaux. The team that have uh, reached the uh, Stade de France without playing a single match at home. It's an impressive feat, and uh, 
It's only been done twice before Monaco managed to reach the final in 1992 without playing at home. Montpellier did it as well in 1994, but uh, those two teams both ended up losing in the final. Not a good omen for Bordeaux. Mariano inside. Abraniak coming back to Gregory Sertic. It most uh, definitely is a 4 4 2 for uh, Bordeaux tonight. Possession has been uh, squandered. This is Vass. Vass making good ground, but uh, the path let him down, which is a shame for Evian because he had uh, options there. Cedric Carrasso, formerly of uh, Marseille and Toulouse. Very solid goalkeeper. Seve. Two in the middle for Henri. Seve can get the ball across. He cut back only as far as Rabiu. Pascal Dupra is uh, an Evian man through and through. He uh, retired back in uh, 1990, having played as uh, an attacker for uh, mainly lower league clubs. He did uh, represent Sochaux as well as Toulon, Tonon and uh, Guernion. Ever since then, he's been uh, working for a club in the region as uh, the cross comes over. Corner to Bordeaux. Dupras started uh, in 1991 working for FC Gaillard. Spent almost a, a decade on the bench with them before joining Olympique Croix de Savoie 74. And uh, effectively they're one of the clubs that uh, became Evian Antoine and Gaillard following the 2007 merger. So uh, Dupras is uh, very much part of the uh, furniture as far as uh, that club's concerned. Across from uh, Sertic and uh, just spilt by Bertrand Lacquer, who uh, recovered quickly enough. Betau's header. Save it, looking to uh, bring Morris Bellet into the play. Nicola Morris Bellet. Save it. Morris Bellet crossing with his weaker right foot, so couldn't get it past the first man. And now Evian coming forward. Nobody in front of Sagbo though, there. Defending uh, with 11 men behind the ball, Evian Tonangaya. Vass has been caught late there by Mariano, and it's going to be the first card of the evening for the Brazilian. Cross from Kevin Berrigo in the header. Was uh, not too far over from Betau. Caruso telling his defenders to be careful. It was a presentable opportunity that. Just had to uh, reach a little bit 
behind him, Betau, and uh, couldn't find the target. This is uh, Cedric Gombon going long towards Berigo. Now Rabiou coming in late. Free kick to Bordeaux. Well, we've had uh, some incredible stories in the French Cup in uh, modern times. Nantes uh, taking on Calais, an amateur club in the final just uh, a little over a decade ago. It's one of the great stories. Evian Tonon Gaia winning the cup would be quite a story as well. They're in with a great chance. 21 minutes gone, still goalless. Evian have lost twice in the league to Bordeaux this season, but uh, the recent 2-1 uh, defeat has been dismissed by uh, both coaches as uh, irrelevant to this game. As uh, both teams will rest in important players as uh, Tremolinas comes forward. Across from uh, Ludovic Obraniak. Morris Bele looking to go it alone. JJ again is there. Well, he certainly doesn't seem uh, overawed by the occasion, Brice JJ. Uh, former Paris Saint-Germain youth team product who uh, wasn't kept on by the Capital Club. First 10 minutes were looking a little bit hairy for uh, Evian, but they've settled to their task. They're defending better now, and uh, Bordeaux are not looking especially threatening. Ludovic uh, Obraniak was a cup winner here two years ago with uh, Lille. He uh, scored the winning goal as well for Lille against Paris Saint-Germain as uh, Rudy Garcia's team completed the League Cup double. Braniak left, though, to join Bordeaux, and uh, some Lille fans are not particularly happy about the fact that uh, he was allowed to leave the club. Wasn't a regular, though, during the, uh, the double year when the likes of uh, Jovino, Ed Nazard and Moussa So were uh, playing the leading roles. Lamintani as Bordeaux look to build from the back here. Tremolinas. All the way back to Carrasso. Morris Bele, a little bit of space to run into here. Strong challenge, fair challenge from Combon. Away come uh, Evian. With Kevin Berigo towards Kleefer. Kleefer's layoff is a good one for Sola. Vass. Mitkovic. Some suggestions that uh, Fabrice Eretz may uh, start tonight in midfield rather than uh, Ninkovic, but uh, Dubra's gone for the experience of the Serb. We see sun setting in Paris, spring in Paris, but uh, it's been very, very cold this spring and uh, had a huge amount of rain as well. I keep newspaper this morning pointing out that it's uh, perhaps only right that we have Evian competing in the cup final, given the amount of water we've seen uh, in France in the last few days. Levion show the bottle to win the game, or will uh, Francis Gillot's Bordeaux prove uh, a vintage uh, team? I'm sorry, I had to, had to get the puns in at, at some point. This is the uh, water v wine final, of course. 
Maurice Ballet with the uh, ball forward towards Seve. And now Diabate turning dangerously in the box. He's a slippery customer. Can sometimes still be a little bit clumsy, but uh, he's got to be so careful with Diabate, who again is uh, not far away from getting his head to that. Berry go back to Rabiu. Jajeje. Everyone struggling to uh, to construct any uh, dangerous play at the moment. You feel their best chance is going to come from a counter attack, and uh, they may have to uh, take a. A spark from Sabah Khalifa, who sometimes you feel isn't really in a game, but uh, he can burst alive. He's got tremendous uh, pace over 20, 30 metres. Once he gets going, it's hard to stop. going to uh, pose problems with that sort of ball into the penalty area. Just look how deep Jaroslav Plasel has uh, come to pick up possession. Mariano now forward, Betao's header away. Again, some, uh, some nice skills from Daniel Vaz, who has had to adapt to this position. It's, uh, not especially familiar to him, but uh, he's made a, a decent start to this final. Sagbo, good ball from Sagbo. Now Khalifa accelerates, and he was watched all the way by Enrique. from uh, bursts like that one. But uh, Cleaver and uh, Evian can be dangerous. Corner to be taken out on this left-hand side by the uh, number nine local lad. As far as Evian are concerned, there we go. Solan has been booked, he was perhaps a bit lucky not to be booked for the foul on Plasso in the first few minutes. I think the referee hadn't forgotten. Big occasion for uh, Olivier Solan, a, a veteran of uh, the French game, a steady performer who uh, enjoyed a spell in Greece with PAOK before returning to France. He uh, returned in 2010. When Evian Tonangai were in the second division, admitted he was reluctant to come back and play in the second division, but he was convinced by uh, Pascal Dupar and uh, the Evian board that uh, the club had a serious project. And he's uh, been vindicated in his decision, helping them uh, to win the second division. In uh, 2011, and then finished ninth in their first ever top flight campaign. Obraniak, tackle again from uh, Olivier Solan, and uh, Evian have got possession back. Sagbo. There we go. So JJ making a, a run forward. Perigo's cross is uh, an early one, headed away by Enrique Nimkovic to JJ. A rare spell of possession then for Evian as uh, Solan spreads the play to Vas. Good pass from him. 
Ferry goes cross and uh, another header this time from Sané. Betau finds Sola. Back to Cedric Combo. Just one save in the opening half hour here. One real save with the Bertrand Lacke denying Diabate with a good stop. Bordeaux goalkeeper Carasso has had uh, absolutely nothing to do so far. Daniel Vass comes back. Sola to Vass. Here is again the former Brombu player, was sold by the uh, Danish club to Benfica, but uh, didn't get an opportunity at uh, Benfica, Daniel Vaz. Done well here in France. This is Solan. Solan's pass, doesn't find a teammate. Trevelinas, back to Morris Bello. It's a poor ball and uh, quality of the game so far has not been uh, particularly high. It's the first time, by the way, uh, in the history of the French Cup that uh, the fixture has taken place on a Friday. The reason? Because we've got the uh, Top Gators rugby final tomorrow here. Too long against Castres, and uh, it was the football that was uh, shifted to the Friday. There may be some fans who uh, follow Castres, the rugby team, and uh, Bordeaux, the football team, and they may have come up from the southwest and uh, they're having a, a real bumper weekend. Nil-nil though here, four shots to uh, one in favour of Bordeaux. Now the header through, and uh, onside is Khalifa. Comes back, a sliding tackle, but uh, the referee allows to uh, allows to go. Well, the Evian player has uh, stayed down. The fans are booing as Morris Bele looks to get a cross in. He eventually does right footed, but it's drilled straight into uh, Jaroslav Plasil. And now uh, Plasil is having uh, a pop at Cedric Combo. A few players squaring up. The Evian players are, are very unhappy, but uh, the referee didn't uh, give a free kick. And then after that, the Bordeaux players didn't put the ball out. Yannick Sagbo. A wounded uh, player. Francis Gilo looking pensive. I can't imagine he's delighted with uh, the way his team have performed so far. They started brightly enough, but uh, they've faded. FIFA now coming over halfway. Finding uh, Sagbo, but it wasn't an easy one for the Ivorian who couldn't control. Henry Save has uh, been given a free kick here. The pacey uh, number 20 for Bordeaux has been uh, quite quiet so far. Here he is, Henri Save. 
looking to uh, thrust forward. Finds Mariano. Mariano uh, standing one up towards Diabate, who causes problems. Morris Bele this is back to goal, but he's found Seve, who cuts it back. Diabate is down, though, and there was nobody else attacking that ball. Let's have a look. Was there a, a foul here on uh, Diabate? Combon knows he's a handful. It was uh, JJ's challenge, in fact, that has hurt the striker. Not a great challenge, but uh, you're unlikely to uh, concede a penalty in that fashion. The key, though, surely for Bordeaux is to get more balls into the box. You can see uh, whenever a cross comes over, Diabate causes problems and uh, even when he can't get ahead of goal with his presence seems to uh, wreak havoc and Morris Bally almost uh, had a chance there after Diabate had knocked the ball down for him nobody quite knew what to do there Bordeaux didn't know if they were supposed to give the ball back to Evian they're now being booed by the Evian fans as uh, they come forward Diabate forced out towards that touchline it, it was an unclear situation to be fair Bordeaux uh, were asking if they should give the ball back or not. It's uh, up to the referee, really, to, uh, to give the instructions in that situation. Sagbo hoping the ball on, and uh, Evian Tonagaya coming forward with uh, a little bit of purpose here. Kleefer trying to uh, slip it through first time. Good skills there. Sagbo bundled to the ground. No free kick, though as it's uh, very nicely tidied up by Mariano. Things uh, spicing up a little bit here, at least at a, just a little over seven minutes left in the first half. from Bass it's interesting the way that uh, Evian Ton on Guyard line up they uh, often play with three forwards as is the case at the moment Sagbo, Kleefer and uh, Berigo two of them usually playing uh, midfield roles getting through a lot of work but uh, they seem to rotate as well Kleefer's playing in the centre forward position at the moment Sagbo's been there for much of the game as uh, Diabate gets through he's onside Shake Diabate for Bordeaux, surely! Very coolly done indeed. The Malian international has been the most dangerous player on the pitch so far. And he has struck first for Bordeaux. Evian's offside trap not working because Daniel Vass was searching and was caught too deep. Lovely pass to Diabate. And you have to uh, say he kept a cool head, even though the finish did uh, just clip off Cedric Combon on the line. And the man who just seems to love scoring in the Coupe de France has done it again. So, Evian will need to react, they'll need to come from behind if they're going to win the first major trophy of the club's history. Maurice Bellet. Another chip into uh, Diabate. He's been a revelation since uh, he returned from the Africa Cup of Nations. He was... Uh, on the receiving end of a lot of boos in the first few games of this season, and he was disappointing. Bordeaux uh, were then lacking uh, 
in attackers because Johan Gouffron left the club in uh, Jan <coughs> excuse me, January to join Newcastle and Jussier also left. This is uh, Khalifa who uh, is well capable of scoring from long range. Bordeaux were desperate to uh, to get Diabate back. Felt that the club uh, needed him and counted on him. And uh, since then he's been in excellent form. Really good second half of the season and this its most important goal yet. How close was Kumbon to stopping it? He gets a touch. Hasn't been easy for Diabate, who uh, joined Bordeaux at a young age, but uh, he moved to France from Mali and uh, didn't actually speak French when he arrived and uh, had a lot of difficulty in his early years at Bordeaux. And uh, like I say, he's frequently being jeered by the Bordeaux fans, not in uh, the last few months and uh, certainly not at the moment. But he's shown strong character. It's starting to uh, really blossom into a fine centre forward. <laughs> 34 metres out for Kevin Derrigo. Chips it in. Horace Bellet back to Tremolinas. Goes long over the. Uh, on the left-hand side for Bordeaux in attack. <laughs> that means Sunny, the player, down at the moment. Ballet coming inside and defining Ludovic Obraniak, who uh, has had to uh, come back to his defenders. Lamin Sane. Sane again. Evian pressing uh, high up the pitch now. Momentarily winning the ball back, but uh, save it. Has uh, done just that for Bordeaux. Here he is. Henry save it. Beautiful pass to Morris Ballet, who's got Tremolinas now coming forward. Obraniak finds him. Tremolinas is ball. Oh, what a shot. Stunning save from Lacke. What a strike, though, by Henri Seve. That would have been some goal. Just a little bit too close to the goalkeeper, but Bertrand Lacke deserves an awful lot of credit for that save. He may have just uh, kept Evian Tonangayad in this uh, Coupe de France final with that save. That was much more like it from Bordeaux. The combination on the left-hand side involving Obraniak and uh, Tremolinas. The cross from Tremolinas and uh, what a strike from Henri Serve. One minute of uh, added time to play here. Good skills now from Mariano. The cross for Diabate, who's beaten in the air this time. Morris Bele cuts it back. Abraniak, another shot from Plazil. Evian being stretched. 
Sane. They need to uh, hold out for another 40 seconds or so. And uh, get into that dressing room and uh, regroup. Rabiu has uh, lost out there as uh, Bordeaux come forward. Braniak, great pass again. Daniel Vass this time vigilant and uh, getting there ahead of Diabate. Now the referee has uh, spotted some afters there involving Kleefer. Freddy Futrell very quickly uh, across. Diabate is down inside the uh, Evian penalty area. Enrique is down as well. And the half-time whistle blows. The referee decides that enough is enough. 1-0 to Bordeaux.